And here comes the link. Pool first. No, it's just a complete cheese and a half. Spy crawl is now being built onto the base. A vendor. It's a line right here, right now. Looking to poke on over. And when you think that your opponent is just isn't ready for you, this is the best way to surprise him. So Ender right now gonna be looking to get a little more minerals in the back. A little desperate right now, just trying to get some Zerglings on the field. And here comes battle. Here comes the brawl transition. And it's just we worker friends are here and now all about fighting between these two players. And Droll is dying into the center. It's an absolute mess onto the ramp. And pretty even so far, he does make creep. And spine crawlers love creep. They can only live on creep to begin with. And spine crawler though here for Ender. And oh my god, Nux is unable to get the root on. The Zerg is trying to go for the surrounding. Here we go with the shots yet again. And this is enough scores to stay on the high ground. Though this fight got like quite low. Is it out of range? Seems like it's the case, but the Zerglings get this round. And we've been able to get that takedown. But hey, we are getting the absolute action that we have been expecting. Well, here for Nux and Ender, usually these matches go the long, go the short haul rather, and Ender will take that victory. But Bailey's gonna be there, Zerg's gonna be there as well, and for Nux right now, he's looking to just get a few folks off, but Ender is just really trying to be pesky. A bit much of bait here, because Ender is running away from these things, and boom goes the dynamite, a few hits here and there! Nux actually getting some value in the meantime, but Ender gonna be picking out his own Bailey's, and this is what CBZ is all about. Doesn't have really much on the defensive end. He has that second hatchery. And Ender's like, no, you don't have any drones there. You're not gonna be defending that one. And into the middle line we go already. Beautiful hits right here, right now. Going for the run on in. And that's gonna be some pesky, pesky damage. Queen out of position there. Still all those drones just going down. And Nux doesn't have any more money in the bank. And they're finding the proper opportunity. And on the flip side, these Zerglings have to run on away. That is a big hit there, courtesy of Ender. And the economy cycle. GG is called. Ender with the victory. Finding the opportunity. Oh, it's a DT Shrine! Here we go, Bayaxer! Gonna go for the Dark Shrine here and now, but Ender sending in the Overlord. Probably gonna be seeing this one coming. Upgrade is done and dusted. Gonna be blinking on into the fray. Really going straight for that support crawler. And wow! Pretty smartly done there, Bayaxer. Surprising the opposition overseer, though, trying to come online. Get Bayaxer, get the frag just inside the warp person. Gonna be there already in position to try and go for the save. But very, very dangerous. The queen having the rage. And one more shot! Oh my! God, by Yagster losing all those DT. He could have got for a drop instant on the main base, but it doesn't happen. Yeah, he has so many centuries right now, but it's looking like the be the destruction of the Protoss. Here we go with the force fields. They're trying to make it through the other side, and they're trying to brute force. It's not gonna happen, and that's what the battle is for. Shattering those force fields along the way. Good use of the Rapture ability, and here comes the hit. Goodbye, Warp Gate. Next on the list, goodbye, second Warp Gate, and it is just a funnel. Seems like Baxter wanting to see that one unfold in front of him. And they're gonna be seeing that one and be like, okay, my opponent is gonna be going roaches, but at the same time, this is gonna be some really strong scouting information, because that's immediately a lair. This might tell Ender that it is just gonna be an all in in this scenario, all about getting the tech options up. One drone does go down, as certainly start to run on by. Well, gonna get the blockade on, because more Zerglings coming the way. Good scouting there with the Overlord to begin with. By pulling that macro right now, Nox cannot panic. He needs to stay calm in the face of adversity. But and their OGT is called. He's able to get the burst on, and it just doesn't happen. Here comes a potential attack from Ender, and Nux can defend this as much as possible, but Ender, he really wants to go for the punish. He knows that his opponent is playing on dangerous grounds, and on to the onslaught we go. Queen, though, is in position. Nux is going to be extremely much earlier. All the tech right now on Ender's side. Really hampering the opposition. And these roaches are gonna be going down. A few more Zerglings looking to get in position right here, right now. This main middle line gonna get hampered as well. But hey, reinforcements have arrived. The surprise, surprise on the other side. It's a two for one attack and a brawl on both fronts. And Nux right now suffering against all this antics, against all this aggression. You can see how much aggression Ender wants to bring to the table. But this is going to be a potential cleanup right now onto this golden wall base. On the flip side, though, that tech might get shut down there by Ender. So Nux will have to respond. So Nux needs to come up ahead, looking to build on even more. Nux is going to try to. Go for this Rapture right now, Rosa Valley. Gonna be a good way to deal with things in the first place. But here comes the Cascade on a huge number of Zerglings out in the front pit again. And Ender using that mobility to run around the map as much as possible. More drones going down, one worker left here for Nux. He does have the money. Chi Chi is called Ender again, punishing his opponent. Ender doesn't know it's coming. And this is looking really good for Nux. 
Surprising Ender could be a good way to deal a blow to the Zergon in the BA scene. Bulldog's not gonna go on down, and they're forced to go for the pull, hiding them onto the side. You can see that micro there. And so just concentrate for far from the drones, getting damage that needs to be done. But here comes the spine crawler. It's time to go for the pulls. No one is gonna be safe whatsoever. Zerg is gonna be coming on out, and Ender will be forced to go for the pull. He's desperately trying to fend those Zerglings off so he can force far onto the spine crawlers right here, right now. And they're giving chase, losing out on mineral timing. Nux still coming out ahead right now. And this is just gonna be all the pulls in the world. Nux getting some good potency on, and they're still giving chase. And Nux doesn't mind that this is happening because it's really buying a lot of time away. And there is stuff on five minerals, losing workers right here, right now. And will this be a victory here for Nux? And he actually take it. He will lose the spine crawler though. And Ender able to defend yet again. It's just those are these making a big difference. So though, here on Nightshade, there is still a gap in the way. And Ender can be able to infiltrate into that one. There is a small little hole there. Highly unfortunate. But can Nux still defend? That's the real question. Spine crawler gonna be a big deal in this. This one, no GG is called, and that is gonna be our grand championship going in favor of Ender.